Your eyes you should look at your fan. Cloudy hand. Cloudy. Surprise! I've never been a sporty sort of person. Didn't have very good experiences of PE and things at school. I used to come out last and hide behind the, um, the hockey equipment shed, hope that the teacher didn't notice. I didn't really know until I was in my 20s that physical exercise could be pleasurable. Smile, give her a round of applause. <laughs> I went into teaching at the age of 40 and I've been retired since 2010. And when I retired, I thought, good, can become a couch potato now. And then everybody was banging on about older people needing to keep fit and do exercise. And I tried various different things and I just found them, I was getting too exhausted. So um, I thought I'd try Tai Chi again. All the moves have names from nature, so the standing tree meditation, then things moving like water and cloudy hand. All the moves are connected with nature. Last year was quite a difficult year because my sister nearly died and she's, uh, she's got learning difficulties and is in a care home, but she was rushed to hospital. And at the same time, a cousin was dying of cancer and I kind of cut out most things out of my life, but I just felt going to the class was keeping me, giving myself something. It really helped to come along and also knowing that I could tell the other people. And I mean, the day that my cousin died was one of our classes and I was able to just say I've come anyhow and you know people giving me a hug and that was that's the uh, you know that support that you get from being there from the people but also from just the activity and being out in the open air and doing something for yourself it just makes me feel that I can do something that I feel good in myself I, I get in touch with my own energy and my own power, which is very good. And I can go home feeling in a good space.